section, typical application scenarios for IoT cloud development, which is quite exciting because uh, for all the capabilities that we mentioned above, mm -hmm. and you don't know a vivid display or like an example what we are capable of doing and beyond. So not only showing the cases today, yeah. and we can do a lot of a lot more things. Okay, so uh, the first one I want to share is the environmental monitoring solution, actually, based on two years powerful hardware, ecological access, and cloud capabilities. Um, it helps to detect indoor air quality, uh, water quality environment, the light, the light environmental, healthy, and other indicators and at the same time connects the house equipment to add humanistic care and temperature to real estate the entire house technology. So detect the content of harmful substances in the space and link air purifier so and other equipment to trigger automatically things to adjust the indoor air environment such as the monitoring the drinking water quality and display key parameters such as the house uh, such as the household water quality TDS the water temperature the water purifier filter aliens something like this well I, I think you're spending a lot of time trying to tell our uh uh, customer today, well, our audience today, that what we are capable of. But mm -hmm. in general, that everything in the house that can be smart controlled, mm -hmm. we cover that capability. Right. So uh, from your kitchen to your bedroom, from your living room to the garage, and mm -hmm. anything that you can think of that we are capable of. Mm -hmm. uh, and talking about that, it's quite a very popular concept, and it's growing hotter and hotter in the European countries as well, well especially in the European countries, is the energy energy management system. Mm -hmm. So what we call is the EMS. Mm -hmm. And when you are, let's say for your smart home, that your individual owning the smart home, you don't know exactly which well, which kind of devices or what category that are consuming the electricity bills. But with our, uh, well, with our very fundamental platform, you can read the numbers behind behind the screen and know uh, which one is well is spending more than you expected. That's mm -hmm. for individual families. And the next one is about you know renting a lot of renting a lot of uh, apartment and you want to know the uh, the core conception mm -hmm. of what's going on here and over there. Not only electricity but uh, water and other utilities as well. So uh, in, in another word we are able to do from the C side, the customer side to business side mm -hmm. and from a small uh, volume let's say smart home to apartment buildings and to smart buildings and maybe to smart communities mm -hmm. and perceive other things that I wanted to mention today here is the indoor light intensity. They automatically act activate the eye production mode. Uh, so we do have a commercial lighting and we have some other day-to-day uh, -day LED lighting things in mm -hmm. our previous uh, series of the PSG webinar. Mm -hmm. So uh, very close, what well, like close the curtains to white sand exposure when you are relaxing in the uh, living room. So all those things capabilities are included in this. And moving on to the the next one we're giving you more scenery things right so in last page we just shared or make make some example of what we can do for the environmental solution now we are sharing in what kind of situation or in what kind of application scenarios uh, those environmental solution can be made so as, as we saw on the presentation definitely for the resi residential environment with uh, uh, we can do the health monitoring system with the smart devices like we already mentioned some sensors like the CO2 sensors, the humidity sensors, even the alarm, the fire alarm sensors, something like this to make all the uh, residential environment to be more smart, more healthy and more safer. And uh, uh, another, another part, so um, we are uh, by all those are by quickly integrating the environmental health cloud products to into the community environmental management. It can focus on the household healthy all the time. So with the help of the central control panels, the monitoring, the home the home environment in real time and also take care of the owners' living conditions all around the how to say 
on the day. I want to say. <laughs> well, that's that's for sure that we support that. And other than the scrap that we previously written on the screen, I just want to get rid of the scrap and say I uh, remember two things. Mm -hmm. First of all, uh, Professor. Well, uh, expert Yan, who ran the uh, smart hospitality and smart building for the past two webinars, mm -hmm. he was he spent a lot of time in introducing uh, what are the uh, hardware, hardwares and softwares that support it in the scene as well, like the residential one, hotel, apartment, and school and office. So here, right now, we are demonstrating the things that you think like we don't have that vivid examples, but actually we do. And in Spain, we are working with the non uh, the school and they do have, if I remember correctly, they do have over 7,000 well, school apartments or something similar. That's, that's a huge place and we uh, uh, Yan just went over there and work with people locally uh -huh. and set up the, this successful case. Mm -hmm. And another thing is uh, you mentioned about the uh, smart control panel, which is our Chuya Cool product, I think. Yes, and that is a Chuya solution. Mm -hmm. And if you are in uh, interested in that, and you can check on the previous one that I work with Frank. And if you want to know more about a smart panel, you can leave in the in the slides. Well, you leave in the in the group chat because uh, Frank is open up to talks as well. Uh, let's say the three hundred IoT expert behind this. <laughs> okay, so uh, except the residential and hotel and apartments, for the school and office in environment, I also have I also have, how to say have many want to share because uh, personally I am a mother of a small daughter. So uh, right now you know in China the the young uh, the how to say you the young people the young children the young generation the young generation <laughs> uh, they have a. Uh, they have a big percentage for wear the glasses, uh -huh. uh, right? So in the school, we have uh, actually in China, we already done many school projects, which they use our smart solution with, or of course, with our APIs, with our uh, smart products to uh, improve the lighting situation. So the uh, students, when they study in the classroom, they don't have they don't have to uh, bear the harmless from, from the lighting. And I think this is very, very important for, for, the child, for the children. And uh, another case I want to share, this is one of my own clients as well. They have done the API article API cooperation with Tuya. And uh, his R&D team is in Beijing, but his uh, business is in US. He is doing the mm -hmm. Uh, Liu Xueheng, how to say Liu Xueheng? Expats, expat Liu Xueheng, like, like foreign exchange students, right? That he is doing the apartments for foreign exchange students in US, and uh, the apartments number is around seven thousand pieces, seven thousand pieces rooms, and they cooperating with the smart smart lock and the APS. So just with the two things, they make the the apartment. By renting and uh, more the operation, how to say the operation process and efficiency has been improved, and also the cost is also being saved because they don't need to uh, in hire many employees to give the key to the renters. They just uh, give them the uh, password by mobile phone. This or is the fingerprint. Yes, yes, this is very easy. Well, I didn't know you have so much to share today. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, and we really need to get rid of that because that's showing. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sarah is helping me. Uh, and let's move on to the next slide, the mm -hmm. energy management solution, for yeah. sure. Yes. So uh, the now we are going to talk about the benefits of the energy management solution. So firstly, it enables you get to know the energy consumption data of different types of buildings and facilities in various regions. So you can have a clear idea, uh, this TV spent how many, uh, spent how many, how to say, how, how many uh, energy? Consume how much electricity? Yeah, how yeah. much, how <laughs> it's used, and how much money it spent every day, right? So yeah. you can have a actual data on all of your smart devices. And this is the first part, first part. And also um, it can, it can combine the basic energy consumption data 
convert the real-time data into energy monitoring and evaluation metrics and compare them with the historic energy consumption metrics. Then you know why this month we have higher uh, consumption compared with last month. So in this way, optimize the energy saving strategies and regulate electricity safety automa automatically trigger alerts of any possible exceptions and thus fulfill the philosophy of green building. Well, wow, that's good to know. And this this picture over here is quite enjoyable because well, I was looking uh, listening grand. to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the next uh, moving on to the next one. So gain an insight into the overall energy consumption trend, combine the energy uses and behaviors uh, like Delores just introduced, and convert real time data into the energy monitoring and evaluation metrics, and compare them with historical energy consumption metrics. This way, optimize the energy saving behaviors continuously and this we are definitely capable of and we support a lot of uh, customers doing that and w I, I found uh, us like emphasizing repeating over and over again mm -hmm. of this concept yes so um, specify the power of triggering alerts and uh, powering of devices in apartments and set the alert threshold depending on the areas and purposes so in case the thresholds are reached Managers get notified to keep the apartments secure. So this means we can um, we can know some dangerous or accidents before it happen. And another, we can put a cap on the power absorption, consumption, and remaining quarter alert of the specified space and adapt to the scenarios of pre prepaid electricity metering for apartments. Meanwhile, we can uh, combine the electrical optimization strategies to cut down household electricity costs. <laughs> well, if this is not a cloud development section, I would sell our pro well, our hard hardware devices. However, today I'm sending this this expo again because the Chuya TIE, the annual online. Uh, IoT Expo is hosting on um, March and mm -hmm. from March 3rd to March 31st and you can now just go to ya.expo.com and check out to, uh, all the uh, categories mm -hmm. and the, uh, the main activities over there and moving on to the next one successful stories yes uh, I you think. survive here <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this com comes to our first customer case. Uh, it's from our client, AnyoneNet. Actually, AnyoneNet is one of our career IoT brand. And why he is looking for the cooperation from Tuya? Because he is suffering to cooperate with different factories. You know, they want to they want to uh, find suppliers for for smart devices. However. Each device has different applications, and they want them to be used in one application. So they come to Tuya because we have so That's big a smart choice. <laughs> yeah, yes. So the anyone that uh, we provided the Tuya IoT development uh, platform API and uh, controls the hardware devices in the powered by Tuya ecosystem under the authorization of the users complex the monitoring and the linkage compilation of device data and also make seeing applications such as for monitoring with alarm and sleep monitoring with a which comes a re reality <laughs> well we we can make your dream into reality and we always say that with the uh, let's say kickstarter but we are not we are too yeah, smart so based on the services any night can quickly implement these smart programs in the health care industry and with power by Tuya, you mm -hmm. can do that too so just uh, leave your information let's say the product information detailed uh, detailed description and your email address or maybe your whatsapp number so it's easier for us to follow up after this uh, webinar today yes so this is our second second case is for our clients also from south korea it's go cool actually we have more than many clients than we should just I, I know 8,400 <laughs> I remember that number yes so um, this client by calling to us open cloud APIs he did his own application which is called Heijia Home and uh, this Heijia Home 
is connected with most popular sp speakers directly with the help of uh, two ya, yeah, such as the KT Ziya Jini, Never. Um, all of them are the popular, uh, popular brand in South Korea. So with the combination of two ya, yeah, he did the in how to say indirect cooperation uh -huh. with other famous brands. That's that's totally cool. So um, if we are now sitting here with the two ya PH. The uh, logo in front of us. I would think that like, we are doing the Amazon brand selling over here <laughs> and mentioning a lot of other brands and telling you that they are capable of selling those things. And we even have the uh, the case showing there. And look look at all these devices. We are all capable of making your brand uh -huh. well smart with uh, hardware like this. And another time, I'm sampling uh, the TIE annual thing online. And our system, please send the uh, the TIE link in the group chat and if you are interested you can leave uh, a message over there yes um because maybe some audience are not so familiar with uh, uh, career market i want to uh, make a biyu <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I will make an example. The speaker I just mentioned is like is like Amazon's Alexa or, or Google's Assistant. Uh -huh. uh, they they are similar. So that that is how it works. So you are saying this uh, this brand central control is like matter, and yeah. actually we are the bigger side of the matter protocols. Right, you are right. All right. Yes. So uh, our last uh, case over here, right? Yeah. So this this uh, client uh, is called Akura. It's a Japanese client. You know, Japanese clients is very strict on the cooperation and on the suppliers selection. And uh, why they find two yeah for the cooperation because they are suffering about the uh, about their uh, heating and the slowing system. Right now, and after they cooperated with Tuya through the Tuya's cloud developing platform, Okura can call the open API of temperature controller and AI intelligent camera to connect with the original floor heating system with its own original heating system to realize same linkage and automatically heating as well as other functions. So as you can see, except the Secure capability and multi device collecting capability provided by Tuya IoT core service. It also, it also can support client to fulfill its SaaS management method. I mean, SaaS management demand. demand. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's totally fine. Uh, so, with the uh, hotel, hospitality, let's say smart buildings, if you do have other questions, and we can connect you with Yan, who's the expert, well, who's the expert in this industry, especially overseas. So, um, we are wrapping up the contents over here and doing making the IoT business really easy, even though you don't understand that concept that mm -hmm. well. But with Julia, we just make it effortless. I, I, I hear myself just selling our platform over here. So moving on to the next slide. Um, uh, we do have a thousand, well, a lot of Fortune 500 customers mm -hmm. working with us, and we're just showing three over here, mm -hmm. Orange, um, well, Schneider, and I don't want to mention too much. So the questionnaire, the very last questionnaire, are you ready for upgrade? I want to know that you guys are ready. I'm curious about <laughs> yes, the I'm answers still waiting as for, well. See? Wow. Yeah, everybody who hung in here for uh -huh. 53 minutes, you should be. You just should be very interested in this. Otherwise, otherwise, I guess you are waiting for our uh, the, uh, the lucky drawer later for the Amazon credit uh, <laughs> gift card. So. Um, listing a little bit more brands over here, and those are those are our global clients. And I don't want to emphasize more because mm -hmm. I want you to be part of this. And we want to list uh, eight thousand four hundred, and let's say fifty out of today's <laughs> webinar. And that's my goal over here: five, uh, fifty new customers with today's webinar section. I will feel very successful okay. at the end of this if, year. <laughs> if, if we achieve this, maybe uh, you can buy me a coffee. <laughs> well, that's, that's easy. Let's arrange it. So um, very excited that it's almost about the time. Are we ready for the...